You know, I remember uh, being asked to, to take part in a tour that was happening at, uh, at the legislative buildings, and my first reaction was, uh, was uh, resistance. I didn't really want to go. You're introduced to the subject of this building right from the outset. We find seated in the center in this pediment, this figure, Lady Manitoba. When it, we came to the building, I think for him, he, um, I think largely didn't want to be here. My first reaction was uh, resistance. I didn't really want to go. I didn't feel that there was anything there that would uh, be appealing to me. To me, the, the building itself represented uh, a place where we were not necessarily, uh, or did not necessarily have a, an equal participation. When I accepted to, to be a part of the tour, I, I realized that this building was more than what it appeared to be. I think that this is a reconstruction of King Solomon's Temple. On the east is this statuary officially called the War Chest. I have no, no question in my mind that the architect uh, had placed a war chest flanked by two winged warriors that the motif or allegory in mind was certainly the Ark of the Covenant. What was really important to me was what was inside the chest and then I knew that what was inside there were what, what we were told had to be brought to the world. In our belief system, we were given seven sacred laws or teachings. They were laws that were to be a part of, our, of the foundation of our family, our community, and our nation. Prophecy said there would be a white brother that would become the warrior of his people and he would discover what would help validate our way of life today. Maybe this building is a dwelling place for um, a, a spiritual truth. I never really kind of got the, the juice of it until I saw living tradition through the, um, the First Nations people. <laughs>